what miracle were they looking for? They saw dangerous dimensions of God. But at the slightest opportunity, they bowed to Baal. They committed adultery with Ashtaroth. He has been faithful to the covenant. You have not been able to keep it. And you want to make him pact. <laughs> you don't know it's a war. When you enter into that battlefield, you'll be dealing with ancient spirits. Some of them are 2,000 years old. And they know a fake man when they see a fake man. You know you can deceive the pastor in church. Say, how are you doing? We bless God, sir. How is everything? It's to the glory of God. You can speak the language. But Satan looks beyond your language. He looks at your secret life. You don't know that Satan has been where no mortal on earth has ever been. No Christian will attain what Satan attained before he fell. No Christian. No human being will attain it. Satan stood in the very presence of God. Satan was the covering cherub. He knows what God's glory smells like. He knows what it looks like. Satan has looked upon God. You will not see God until we enter into the new Jerusalem. So when somebody is fake and enters into the battlefield, Satan just laughs. He says, I know you. I know the fragrance of that place. You don't carry it. You are not qualified to fight in this war. Jire, that's why some people will fast for 21 days. On the last day of the fast, eh, they will break it with fornication. Their old boyfriend will come and on the day of the fast, they break it with fornication. Or they will sleep that night and incubus and succubus will appear in their dream and have sex with them. And when they wake up, they wake up with lust. It's as if they never fasted. As if they never fasted. The second law in the spirit is that if you are going to bring impact, the resources you have must be, the, must be greater than the resources in the world. If the resources you have are not greater and higher than what Satan has, you are not permitted to bring impact. So 1 John 5, the Bible says, Greater is he that is in me. Or is it 1 John 4 now? 1 John 4 and 4. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So when you get born again, this is why God gives you the Holy Spirit. He is your greatest resource. The Holy Spirit enters into your spirit. And then what is he doing? He's working on you from the inside so that you will look like Christ. Then he comes upon you in baptism. What is he doing? He's anointing you and empowering you to be a light in your generation. So the dimensions of the Holy Spirit is twofold. He works in you to, to create godly character. Then he rests upon you so that you can bring God's power in a generation. That's how the Holy Spirit works. Because God's greatest demand for you, God's greatest agenda for you is not a blessing. God, God can give you anything he, he, he wants to give you, he can give you. But the most important thing God wants to achieve in your life is transformation. He wants to work on you from the inside. He wants to begin to change you to think like Christ, act like Christ, to want what Christ wants, to desire what Christ desires, to love what Christ loves, to become more like Jesus. So the Holy Ghost is the one walking. When you become serious with him, that resource, that dimension of the Holy Ghost on your inside, will now become like a dynamite. That's what made men like Idausa the way they were. Oh, Lama Kadia. That when they entered into places, the presence of God was like rain. I was watching him preaching somewhere abroad. One of my sons sent it to me, and he just wrote, this man, eh? He was like a god. Somebody was in the congregation, he just looked at the person and said, come, remove the bandage from your neck, shake it once, shake it twice, bye-bye. The man shook it once, shook it twice. The, 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 the fracture, the broken bone in the neck healed. Why don't we have power? Some of you, your younger ones, on, the, on your very before, are entering into the world. No power. 
You go to campus, no power. In Wari, no power. Are you not seeing the streets of Wari? I know many Christians.